What's up everyone, Polartron here. We're checking out another Game Tunes video, Alphabet Lore Origin. Now, I never, I don't know what this is, but you know, it's gonna be a great thing to find out. What is the Alphabet Lore? I can't wait to know what this is, man. It's gonna be some new series, man. The Monster Friends was cool, but let's see, this might be the new thing. But make sure to go like the video, comment down below, subscribe to the channel, and let's go. There are many ways to interpret all the letters in the alphabet. For instance, A could stand for apple, an yeah. amazing and appetizing treat. B could be for a big beautiful butterfly fluttering through the sky. Or just butterfly. And C could be all sorts of things. Calm. C. Courageous. C. Mm -hmm. Cowardly. C. Crazy. C. Or even cool. C. But all too often D has stood for Death. All right. Yes, this is a story about the most evil of all the letters. F. F. And how it became the villain it is today. You see, F had started to attack various seemingly random Damn. letters of the alphabet, picking them off one by one. F does look he mean. He started locking up his victims in handcuffs deep inside the caverns of his mountain fortress. D and E had no idea why they were being taken captive, but clearly something was wrong with F. He had changed from when they were young, and not for the better. Of course, there were those who looked to end his reign of terror. G called out with his horn to enlist the help of his ABC allies. Okay. Together, wow. they formed a camp wow. and swore to track down F to the ends of the earth. But... They were too late to save H. His faint ghostly body faded away like dust in the wind. Oh, he pooped it, farted it out. Ugh. Even that was a better fate than that of I. I. The poor little guy was jumped on and squashed repeatedly. Hey, leave him alone, Bo. A diabolical weapon used by F against the other alphabet letters. J was incinerated instantly, never to be heard from again. Man, it's while K was left in a state of shock, having just witnessed the death of his dearest friend. Yo, K, fly away. Don't, don't let him. Ah, oh, shit. F would have no mercy on him. He forced K to become a set of rapid flapping wings that allowed him to soar through the air. Meanwhile, G, C, A, and B drove furiously towards the chaos in order to defeat F and his new unwilling partners. Though, when they finally arrived, they discovered I was too powerful. He charged up an enormous shot. Do you know what letter could be F? From the alphabet for good. G, C, A, and w. B huddled together. Think about it. For certain death. Luckily for them, L showed up to save the day just in the nick of time, along with his entire group of superheroes, L M N O P. You see, they were seen as the protectors of the alphabet. Each of them had a very special gem that gave them immense power. <laughs> Infinity Sword M was able to break free from F using his super strength, allowing him to fly away to safety. But the attacks of N and O were much less successful, barely doing any kind of damage. When it was P's turn Dude. to attack, everyone was mesmerized, particularly G, who had been in love with her for as long as he could remember. F used the distraction as a chance to steal N's semicolon gem. With his new power in hand, he retreated back to his cavernous lair, locking up I away for good. After losing the semicolon crystal, N became normal once again. Disgusted by his failure, L and O flew away. One letter in particular, Q. Frantically crawled towards the other letters. Why does that look like an desperate ear? Desperate to tell them something, but his slow snail-like body never allowed him to. That man ate too many them. Doritos. It didn't take long for F to claim another victim. He attacked R and dragged him back to his fortress with I, E, and D. With F lost again, the others needed direction. The letters M, A, and P came together to form a map for G to track down F's location. He was heading straight for S. Try as they might, the heroes were too late to save S. The letter had been eaten by F, slurped down like a spaghetti noodle. L and S O were the first weak. to arrive. They tried to stop F in his tracks with their magical auras, but F had become too powerful. He easily shrugged off their attacks using the semicolon gem he stole from N earlier, 
and wasted no time collecting the colon and period gems from LNO. He felt all the force energy of the punctuation crystals flowing through him. Soon, no one would be strong enough to defeat him, and his plan would be complete. After that, F attacked T, smashing him like a hammer into the ground. The other letters tried to stand up to F, but not even M in all his super strength could do any damage to him. F stole M's comma crystal. The only one that stood even the slightest chance was P. She bolted around with supersonic speed, Ooh. thanks to her exclamation point gem. She was able to land several mighty blows against F, knocking him down to the ground. Still, she was no true match for him. As she charged up her beam attack, F was able to strike her with the comma freeze ray he had just stolen from M, leaving her locked in time. F has won with four of the six punctuation gems in hand. the infinity stones! He possessed abilities no other letter would dare to fight. That is, except for C, who had always been brave in the face of danger. Whoa! Unfortunately, that was his undoing. F viciously attacked C, shredding yeah, him like that old C. newspaper. F's work here was done. He flew away with P. The others mourned the loss of their friend C, but realized that if they were to ever defeat F, they would have to get creative. G and M joined forces with you in order to form a weapon. Surely, this would be the answer to all their problems, right? A gun. One blast and their nightmare could be all over. They fired F just as he was about to attack V. A Kill direct him. hit. G, U, and N all rejoice. It was finally over. Until they realized F had more tricks up his sleeve. Somehow, he was able to disguise P as himself. G hadn't saved the day. He had shot his love. And with that, a new word inside N's mind is formed. Coward. Coward? N thought back to everyone that had died or been captured. How no one was able to save them, including Elemental P, the supposed saviors of this realm. How was he going to stand up to F now? Meanwhile, F went back to his mountain to prepare for the final phase of his evil plan before being Bro. stopped in his tracks by X. X, X is gonna be a sick. Warrior. His beaming asterisk gem glistened in the air. His special power was the ability to clone himself. Identical Dude. copies of X started to spread out far and wide, surrounding F in waves. The strategy worked. F was perplexed by the clones. He had no idea where to attack, so he surrendered his gems. Being the chivalrous ninja he was, X obliged and put down his gem as well, revealing the true X. But the true X is giant! Be foolish. Without the element of surprise, X was quickly dispatched by F and his mighty jaws. And with him defeated, F was able to steal his crystal. Now only one punctuation no, gem remained out of his No, he's getting stronger! As Y mourned the loss of X, F began to set his trap. He plopped against the sides of the wall, creating oozing puddles of disgusting black goo. Then no he way. vomited up S, locking him and R in chains alongside I, E, and D. Clearly, he was trying to spell out something. It seemed that F no longer needed the gems. The crystals placed themselves along the path inside the mountain as a sort of trail heading straight for F. The other letters cautiously entered, mm. and Transfix Muggin. started to pick up the gems one by one, as his team was slowly picked apart. M, U, G, They're all sucked a, up! All taken away by the gross black darkness spread by F. It seemed as if N would be next. A giant set of sharp teeth filled the tunnel like a flood, and N was forced to flee. But instead of killing N, it led him all the way to F's inner sanctum. N wasted no time retrieving the last Come of the on, punctuation gems and transforming into his final form, unleashing an attack of rainbow energy directly at F. Do it! Come on! Ooh! Ooh! Bullseye! And it done it! Whoa! He defeated F with the power of love! Or... Was it actually the power of evil? As N got closer, he finally realized what F was trying to spell. The word, friends. No one knew how or what F was planning, except the wise Q, who had finally managed to catch up to the others. 
Q explained to everyone the prophecy he had foretold long ago. F and the other letters used to be younger, so young in fact that they were all lowercase. And everyone got along, playing and dancing. Okay. That is, of course, until L and O decided to beat up N. L launched O like a slingshot towards the sad little letter ah. and then mocked his insignificance. That's not nice. F, being the good friend he was, decided to pull off a hilarious prank as revenge. He corralled up the letter A R N T to help him spell fart. The gross flatulence as a result was loud and stinky enough to be heard throughout the entire alphabet, even killing H. He died! But Eleanor would not be made fools of. They smacked F around, stomping and squishing him. It was so sad that the tears F cried became hard and crystallized into the punctuation gems we know today. They pushed F in R-I-C-K to force him to spell one of the only forbidden words in the dictionary. Frick. Frick? The other letters were disgusted. How could he? They all teamed up to beat up F even more, punching him around, blasting well, he's out not his a teeth, bad person. even tripping him. F continued to cry. His final tear became the question mark crystal, the last gem to be completed. It seemed like no one cared for F anymore, so he ran away to the mountain in solitude. As the years passed, F grew Damn. older and more bitter. He became an uppercase letter and started preparing his scheme. Deep down, F wasn't evil. He was just lonely and heartbroken, and wanted nothing more to be loved once again by his old friends. You see, it's important to realize that no one letter is good or bad. They all come together to make something bigger than themselves. That's and right. Alphabet United can quickly become untied, and real fun so easily turns into funeral. In the end, the alphabet is what you make of it, and some of the deepest wounds can only be cured by time, and some restful sleep. Whoa! That was so cool, man. I love this video. This, this is so dark. Man, F had a really bad childhood. Well, guys, F in the chat, man. Yeah, that's that's sad, man. I understand why F would do this. But yeah, that is the Game Tunes video. I loved it, man. The alphabet lore is actually cool. Definitely let me know if you guys want any more reactions to this. And don't forget to like the video, comment down below, subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace out.